If you have ever struggled to make organic shapes, then this blender add-on is probably for you. From what you can see, the differential growth add-on for blender gives you the possibility to generate organic forms inspired by the growth pattern found in living organisms such as lichens, algae, periphera, corals, and other organic forms. The add-on uses an algorithm to simulate the growth shape of organic forms, but be careful. The algorithm is destructive and will modify the mesh in place, so it is recommended to save often and set the undo steps to the maximum while working with this add-on to be able to revert to your previous results. And as you start running the algorithm, the most active vertices begin to push away from each other. And when the distance between them gets too long, they will be subdivided, like the growth behavior in living algorithms where the cells get subdivided and push other cells away. The add-on offers a range of parameters for you to use and play around with. The basic ones are split radius, the repulsion radius, the step size, and the step scale. The split radius refers to the maximum allowed distance where the split occurs. You will find a 0.5 by default, but lowering it makes your edges kinda shorter and increases the mesh resolution. And the repulsion radius sets up how much the vertices are repelled from each other. You can change the repulsion radius and the split radius to get more or fewer details depending on what you want to generate. And the step size is the multiplier of the force, so the bigger the step size is, the faster the simulation is gonna be, and also the less accurate it's gonna get, which can lead to overlapping. The step scale applies transformation on each axis, and you want to use it if you want to limit the maximum transformation on one axis or more. The differential growth add-on currently supports three forces, which are attraction, repulsion, and noise. Attraction aims to get the vertices as close to each other as possible. The same as the repulsion forces, as the name suggests, can be tweaked to make interesting shapes. The noise is used to break out the symmetry and it is the factor that makes the generation more organic. It is basically the randomness that applies on each vertex and allows us to break away from the plane shape. The growth direction, as the name suggests, offers a possibility to define a point at which the growth of the simulation will be directed. It is set by default diagonally along the positive z-axis, and you can also change the intensity and the speed of the growth using the growth direction factor. Last but not least, we have the growth inhibitors parameter. We have the base factor and the shell factor. The base factor reduces the weight of the non-binary vertices. By removing the weight of the vertices, it stays the same and can give some interesting results. As for the shell factor, when you set its value to 1, you can see that every now and then, the growth of some vertices will be slowed down, resulting in highly non-uniform shapes. You see, every parameter in this add-on can give unique results and generations, and by combining them together, we can get some amazing and mesmerizing growths. But you should also note that some combinations of parameters may result in a combinatorial explosion, which is a mathematical term meaning a rapid growth of the complexity of a problem due to a small increase in the number of elements that can be combined, which leads to increase in the number of combinations to be computed so fast, which quickly reaches computational limits. And you can always roll back and tweak the parameters if you don't like the generation and want something else. Now, what can this add-on used for? First of all, with its simple parameters and ease of use, I think it can offer a simple way to generate complex organic shapes and patterns, which help you create different things that can be found in nature. For example, whether you are looking to create something underwater or add a touch of a plant nature to an alien world, or need props for an underground level in a game, or simply if you want to print some interesting shapes for your keychain, or some lampshades, or maybe something else, this add-on can be for you. So if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.